Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monaco. Oh, we're just right out in the open right here. He didn't want to go anywhere else and do it. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here. I've got a bone to pick with you. I'm going to beat my dick in this corner. I'm going to fucking paint a mural all over the wall. <laughs> and a few months later. Monokuma well, well, this is a surprise. You, you being the one to call me out. Hey, hey. Hey, by the way. Huh. What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? You two, just the two of you? In the middle of the night? Oh. Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet. Ew. So wet and warm. Oh, the opposite. I bet you guys moved to conform with local and international censorship laws. <laughs> Dude. You guys were fucking in the bathhouse? All over- Ew! All over her, didn't you? Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late-night bath scenes. Because I like to remain a healthy life of observation far from X-rated X-pulp. X-what? Plots? Exploits. Exploits, uh. Oh, so is that why there's still- there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye. Or is it maybe- Y'all could get steamy bath sacks. <laughs> Or is it maybe because the lens got all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Oh. Well, there you go. Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went all the... You went to all that trouble to get me out here, right? Now what do you want? I oh. want to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go in the bathhouse and fuck? <laughs> oh, well, um... There's just something I want to confirm with you. Whether I'm a... What the fuck is that word? Made mo moisel? Mademoiselle. A what? Mademoiselle. It's like French for a woman. Whether I'm a woman or a dude fella. I like that word. Actually. But in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. That's not true. Um, actually there is. What? Seriously? My entire then what am I? My existence. My That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No no way it's possible at all, but is that seriously what you what you dragged me out here to ask me? I'm being you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. You're not gonna ask something useful, like how to get the best honey, or... <laughs> yeah, breeding tips? This is just crazy. Are you all pu pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? Bro, nutty. Oh god, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you, it was a key, and a... Stars. And a dildo! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> what was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. It's a secret. Fill it in yourself. Like it used to fill in me. Oh, wait. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Alright. Well, dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Just seen this little bear walk away. Just been stupid bitch. Fucking cunt. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking dumbass. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. No, I could all do. No, all I could do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Maybe. Kyoko, we're talking about. I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves to get back to sleep. Oh, fuck me. Theater. Monokuma Theater, brought to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited. Um. Okay. That, that, that was it. Wait. That was just the game. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's this weird fucking shit. I forgot this cutscene exists. What the fuck is this? It. 
It's like a parody game that never got made. I completely forgot about this cutscene. <laughs> What in the fuck am I looking at? That's a big bear. <laughs> Wait, he be grooving. Starcraft Friends, the game that world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, the development has been canceled. Looking forward. It's enough for people to buy bong around. Who knows? So buy copies and you all your friends. <laughs> what the fuck? They put an ad in the game? Yeah, there's an ad in the game for a game that never existed. What the hell? Well, here's a real theater. Oh. Oh. <laughs> But I need to. I need to get the voice back. <laughs> How? How? Okay. This super stylish, super fashionable game was canceled during development, but it'll start back up again if Dong and Rapa sells well. Then you guys have to recommend That's... it to your friends too. Woo! I did all that work to get my voice back for two lines. Congratulations! You never lost it. Big bug. I believe these next two days Good are just normal morning, daily everyone. life, if I remember it correctly. I think. Get ready to greet oh, man, I wonder who they hang out with. There's only day. five other fuckers alive. Wowee. My body feels sad this morning. It must be because I was still, still night and we need to get to the dining hall. Well, not yet. Yeah, you know, we still have to do the dining hall bullshit. <gasps> Speed! Whoa. Jesus. Dude, he, he was running. That's how he runs. What? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry. Don't you are being Taka. I'm not feeling so great today. What's your you really problem? think that like, a tired excuse like that is going to work? Uh, are you allowed to talk again? Hmm. I don't recall giving you permission. Uh, I, I just thought, I mean, since a day has passed, it had maybe reset? Sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign from my neck that says, Bad girl. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can give, forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. It's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore. I doubt being late for, like, breakfast meeting is worse than being late to your own wedding. I, yeah, I agree. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is ski quiet. Very strange. For whatever reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, oh. so. What? No? Uh. Uh huh. No, oh, no, it was me. I was just curious of what she is. Oh. Oh, yeah. You still have her key, right? What's this? Ah, right, you're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Wow. What do you want now? Hey, hey! I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Ooh. Well, it's hard to say. Huh? huh, you don't know either. What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us from information. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask some someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bullcrap? This is I feel like I'm getting whiplash. The way he changes stuff just like that. Thank goodness, it's like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just like, just fine last night. Which could God. mean... Godzilla. Is that your movie Godzilla? Godzilla's an indie movie, yes. Absolutely. I, I'm hoping Godzilla's the answer to your favorite movie, because if Godzilla's the answer to indie bullcrap, I'm gonna scream. Well, there you go. <laughs> Maybe the mastermind can't monitor, mon monitor us and control... Yeah, we've gone through this. Could she have been right about that? Hey, hey. So, was I right? You looking for Miss Kirigiri? Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. 
We have no idea. And if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. For real. For serious. For serious. Hmm. I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sorry, you Nara suckers. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as, he, as soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. It, no, no, the thing is, Godzilla isn't an indie movie. That's no. all I was hoping you said Godzilla is your favorite movie, and not that you meant it as an indie movie, because it's fucking not. Yeah, I was making a joke there. <laughs> so, what was that you just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is or either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would how how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Yeah, how can we not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. I know where she is. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't even notice? Where could she be? Wait, your favorite movie is either Godzilla or FNAF? I fucking hope it's Godzilla. Don't tell me your favorite movie is the FNAF movie. That mo The FNAF movie is okay at best. Yeah. It's bad funny, not good funny. Just just letting you know that. We spent the rest of the breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Now it's daily life. Well, also to answer the earlier question, what's your favorite movie, Brandon? Oh, you can't put me on the spot like that after me reading all this time. Uh, give me a minute. Give me a minute to think. Just because a bunch of people know the movie doesn't make it a good movie. Yeah, there's a difference between knowledge of the movie and actually so watching the movie and liking it. Movies, movies, but those movies are all hot garbage besides Suicide Squad. Uh, what is my favorite movie? Uh, that's a... Good fucking question. While well, you're thinking of mine, it, it, mine's easy as fuck. Anyone that knows me knows what my favorite movie is. It's Nightmare for Christmas. Which is a good movie. It's a great movie. Um, uh, We're gonna buy stuff. Woo! God, what is my favorite movie? As I spend coins. How many coins should I even put in? Uh, however many you want. You can try and always keep going zero or just go in as, low, as many as you want. I'll do like 5%. There we go. 15. There's a lot of movies I like, but my favorite has been crowned my favorite for most of my life. What the fuck is that? That's a gun. Oh, ray double gun. lucky. What the heck? Bro, I got ray gun! I got ray gun! In a basket! Yeah, to, like, besides, like, Nightmare for Christmas, I really like the first Cloverfield movie. That's a really good horror movie. I like a lot of horror movies. Yeah, you do like... <laughs> God damn it, I got that before. Uh, what else? My watch is like a really good movie. Get a phone! Why did it shake like that? I don't really watch a lot of movies anymore, unless it's like the homie watching on Discord. But we lot we watch garbage. Yeah, we, we like watching garbage movies. Not even like good movies that came out. Sonic movie? Like we, Sonic movie is okay. Okay, that's at least a good movie. Yeah. First Sonic movie is good. I haven't seen the second one. Or third. That supposedly coming out they're, soon? And they're, yeah, they're apparently making a third one. We gotta introduce Shadow and get all the... The Weebers, uh, or... I don't know. Mario movie? Uh, um, haven't seen the Mario movie. Watch. I don't watch the Mario movie. I don't care to watch the Mario movie. Oh, I got a bento box. Lucky. 
Yeah, I haven't seen the Mario movie either. I think it? legit the newest movie I've seen was... Bow and Arrow. Either FNAF oh. or Blood and Honey. Both man movies. <laughs> What are you talking about? Blood and Honey is fantastic. Blood and Honey is fucking hilarious, though. Like, that movie is, like, funny bad. Yeah, that's true. It is... It is it's funny bad. Oh, yeah, I have to hang out with someone now, huh? Alright, yeah, we need to look at presents. Let me get the list up. And everyone's up in the fifth floor. All right. Um, let's see. Presents. <laughs> Fuck. We got potato chips. We got hard tack. Sonic cup of noodle. We have a lot of shit. Kitten no, hair okay. clip. Wait, no, we don't have that. Overflowing lunchbox. God of War charmed. Leaf covering. What's that's number what? What leaf covering twenty nine? Getting caught up on the list. I need to look for you. Okay. No one loves that, but two people like it. Uh, Bunny. Buddy Earmuffs, 31. Ina, Ina's the only one alive that likes it. Okay. We got two hand bras. Uh, Genocide Jack is the only person alive that likes it. Okay. Uh, Demon number 37, Demon Angel Princess figure. Jack likes it, and the person that loved it's dead. Yep. Uh, Shears... No one likes that or loves it. Okay. Curleen camera, 42. Uh, hero likes it. Person that loved it's dead. Okay. Adorable reactions collection, 43. Hero likes it. No love, huh? Let's see. All the people that love a lot of the stuff we have are dead. Ray gun. Yo, Ray I got gun. two ray guns. Pick me up. I'm down. Uh, ray gun, uh, no one alive likes this thing. God damn it. Who doesn't like ray gun? Uh, silent receiver. No one at all likes this thing. What the fuck? Why are there so many items that no one likes? So, because it's, so you have to fit. If we didn't have a guy, you have to figure out a lot. Pretty hungry calipiter. Calipit. Cat. Uh, the only person that likes it's dead. Okay. Uh, golden airplane. 61. Bayakia and Hero love it. Okay, so we'll do Bayakia with the Golden Airplane today. Asura's Tears. 64. Only person that loves it's dead. Okay. Tips and Tips. 70. Okay, Tips and Tips. Uh, no one alive likes it. Uh, Maiden's Handbag. 71. Genocide Jack loves it. Got a lot of things for Genocide Jack. Ancient tour tickets. 83. Okay, uh, no one likes it at all. Novelist fountain pen. I assume it's just... Toco. Yeah. Toco loves it. If facts, 85. No one likes it at all. Okay. Meteorite Arrowhead. 87. Taka Hero loves it. Taka Hero. Okay, so we'll do Takahiro and Bayakia. Okie dokie. Okay. Luis, pick a pick a person. Either Poke Porcupine Head or Biakia. Where the fuck's the map? Both being hung out with. Who's first? Yeah, either that guy or Is it gonna or that guy? We got blonde guy of glasses or porcupine head.
Yeep, gap, boop, bop. Oh, yeah, Sonic hair, motherfucker. I leave the glasses boy with his. Okay. Honey female? What the fuck? I read it and then I immediately regret it. <laughs> yeah, I, I... The one thing there I'll is. also say that doesn't help me with, like, this, like, this chapter. Oh, at least so the final dumb. chapter is really interesting because it's like where all the plot, like, all, like, not the plot suspicious. twist happen, yada yada. I don't really like this chapter that much because I think this is the worst, like, final cast of the three hmm. games. Hmm. It's not like have I got a story for you. My research revealed a surprising connection between Tokyo Tower and a lost Lumerian civilization. Wow. A lot of stuff that didn't make sense to me. At least in 2 and V3, at least one of my, my characters I really like is in the final group. This game, fucking none. Like, my most, like, liked character is, like, Bayakia. It's a lot. What was I giving him? The ar arrowhead? Oh, yeah. Okay. Give me your right head. Whoa, such mysterious power. This is a true blue ooh parp. <laughs> Makoto, the dawn of a new era dawns near. Seeing here, uh, yep. Could it be? Hey, Makoto, you know what I think? What do you think? You and me meeting like this—it was a—it wasn't a coincidence. Hmm. So I've got some good news for you. I'm going to give you a psychic reading at a huge discount. A discount. How about that? Normally it's a thousand bucks for two hours, but for you, let's call it nine hundred. Yo, what a steal! That's only a hundred dollar discount, and even then, it's way too expensive. Don't be mean. Hey, come on! You should count yourself lucky that the ultimate clairvoyant is willing to tell you your future. So, are you pretty right pretty often? Well, I sure am. At the bare minimum, I've got twenty percent chance of accuracy. That sounds pretty sketchy. What the heck? I still love that he's the ultimate clairvoyant with that low of accuracy to show how shit everyone else is. <laughs> For real, don't make that face. Didn't you hear what I said? Twenty percent of the time, I'm right every time. That includes natural disasters, election results, you name it. Don't you realize how amazing that is? Um. How about that? Okay, fine. I'll give you a special trial run. After all, I've already seen what the future has in store for you. What? When did you see it? Well. Hehehe. <laughs> you won't believe what I saw. It would appear that the monitor, mother of your children, and the mother of my children are the same women. I refuse. Denied. Don't like it. I'm right, right? Doesn't matter if you don't like it. That's just the way it is. 20% 20 accuracy, you said. You know? At least. I pray to everything holy that you're wrong. Please be wrong. <laughs> now then, since that was a special trial run, I'm afraid I can't apply the discount. That'll be $1,000, please. Don't worry, you can pay, pay me after we get out of here. Wait, uh, one thing I'll say that's really funny, if you get, like, the absolute, like, worst ending... His fortune becomes true. I know. I, I've seen that. Oh, that's, I, I was trying not to say anything about it, but... <laughs> Wait, hold on. But there's no Absolute way you're going to be right, worst. right? Hmm. If you get the worst ending, there's a picture of them, like, grown up like kids. And yeah, it's the same woman. Yep. If you like, I could do a reading right now to see whether my reading was right or not. Naturally, additional fees will apply. <laughs> Think about it, okay? Let me know as soon as you're ready for my services. Ha 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 ha. He's gone. Do I have well, enough in my bank account to take another crack at it? Only prove you really fuck up the end of the game. I can see how people could fall into that kind of cycle, though. That was close. Please, whoever's listening, I'm begging you. Whatever else happens, don't let it be right. You locked don't fall. Oh. You unlocked a skill lost in thought. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Wow. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Oh, what the fuck's the bear gonna do? Yeah, the bear's just gonna be like, haha. Ha! Nerd! Three ends. I feel even more worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead, and now I'm getting chilled. Is Makoto, like, sick or something? Yeah, he's getting sick. What the heck? How do you get sick in, like, an enclosed area? This is bad. I think my I might be getting sick. Let's go spread it around. 
Time to hang out with Byakia. Let's get him sick. Yeah. Let's cough on him. And say, oops, misclick. <laughs> IRL. <laughs> yeah. Like, Just cough. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. Misclick. <laughs> Miss input, calm down. <laughs> it's a miss input. Calm down. All right, let's talk to Mr. Man. Hmm. Scurrying around again, huh? Look okay, at you, makes me physically ill. I'm already ill. That's fine. Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Wow. Wow. That was some great time just sitting next to each other like that. Did you get? Are you sick yet? <laughs> Sorry, miss input. All right. He's getting the golden airplane. Yeah. Right gun. Golden airplane. Yeah. The only people that like it are Junko and Shiro that like the ray gun. Damn. You. You bastard! How did you get your hands on this? Even the collective force of the entire <laughs> Takami Corporation would- Oh my god! <laughs> Corporation wouldn't be enough to obtain this gem. I I'm going to hold on to this. So please, yeah, it makes me happy. So in other words, Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent prodigy is only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care of and protection of the Takami name. Is this a monologue or something? It kind of, yeah. It's what? still the fact that ultimate, he, all he was was born to like the, one of the richest families in the world. He should be the lucky student. He got born into luxury. Uh, you meet the lucky student. But I don't re rely on my family. Rather, I am my family savior. The Takami Corporation reaches across the world, true, but I will take us to even greater heights. The galaxy. It is even expected of me, naturally. After all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even the, among the Togami family, I am chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I've fought and won. Battles? I am personally worth over $4 billion, separate from my Togami family assets. I have 365 confirmed kills. How the heck did you make that much money? In other words, stock market. Fucking just going into like about to start the fucking copy pasta. <laughs> I was and I forgot it. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends, all within a single day. Yes. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff on the stock market, doing everything in a single day. I think that's called. Uh... There's only one answer that makes any sense. Uh, trading cards, hell yeah! <laughs> I assume it's trademarks. It's day trading. Well, shit. You were able to make four million dollars doing that. That's right. You well, have to. You're not gonna make money from trademarking something. <laughs> well, I first started doing it. It just kept. It's just to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. It's really not a big deal. Especially not as much fucking money as he was. He has. I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but are you a high schooler? Are even are bleh, but are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm Biaki Tagami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Hmm. Four billion dollars yes. is nothing to the Tagami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern day nobility. You know, Biaki. Maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> Oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple. So I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez. No, I got bored of making fucking bank. I, I'm, I'm bored of making billions of dollars. Jeez, do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? Hm. Of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life's too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. Skill or be skilled. Clear the 20 SP threshold. Cool. Cool achievement. Yeah, I mean, spoiled what you got. What? <laughs> that achievement spoiled what you got from him. Yeah, your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Woo. At least you got a skill from Hero. Yeah. I'm back to my room.
Oh, fucking nose. Ugh, I'm getting the chills. There's a ghost in my room. I feel kind of dizzy. I'm a vomit. I can't help it. I need sleep. Isn't there like beds that you can take? In, like the, the nursery or... I don't know. That time wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body has reached limits. There's also the room that has medicine, but also in the same cabinet is poison. Oh, maybe he just drink that. The poison, I mean. Get another suicide kid. Yeah. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. Yada yada, keep yapping to yourself. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Oh, this water tastes funny. Dies. Well, that's not completely true. Wait. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weed back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all. Which uh, he's dying. I was restless. Ugh. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. Oh boy. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. That voice. It's so familiar. Ah, it's... I... understand. It's me. I... understand. I should... understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's... to stay here. Yeah, me too, huh? What am I trying to say? This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. That was... Okay. <laughs> My dream just now... So strange. Huh? Yo! He has my knife! Oh my god! El Luchador! He's gonna stab me and then maybe suplex me. One or the other. Or both. Uh oh. Are we struggling? What's going on here? Huh? Deep breathing. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I need a knife there. Wasn't the best idea. Yeah. Well, all, well also the one thing. It, it, if that if that masked person was the mastermind, they have the cameras. So if it was the mastermind on that mask, it wouldn't matter where you hit it. Yeah. Kyoko? Kyoko? She fought off the luchador. Oh my god. Wow. 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 Holy shit, she suplexed the luchador. <laughs> Every day is peaceful. Oh, wait, it's you. Yeah, you motherfucker. My fault. I was into it. Trying to take my job? I was into the story. Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Oh, I forgot to put the button. <laughs> <laughs> Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom. Motherfucker! <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to my oh fuck <laughs> No abnormalities No abnormalities as far as the eye can see Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality If the world were like that I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal Well shit My fault <laughs> <laughs> Big bog. 
Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to... Shut up. <laughs> There's no blood here. It took longer than usual for my eyes to pry open. Ah. <sighs> I let a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. Chills, eggs, and unfer unfer unfathomable. They are all disappeared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that was left was me dressed this way. It was just because of whatever bug I caught. Either it was also the dream I've had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I screwed. Scramble to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I was dying. Came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard a voice I didn't really understand, and then... I woke up and there was a luchador with a knife. There he is. There was a strange person standing there, standing next to me, to my bed, wearing a mask. They were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up a fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't know what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go bl black again. The next thing I remember, Kyoko standing there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How could I possibly find out either way? Let's check the drawer. Oh, it's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing it inside. Was it's real! It's a fucking real! Wait. It's real! Nothing's inside. That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. And possibly I put the knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which that means. Luchador was real! I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. Woo! Why would someone want to attack me? And who was that behind that mask? And why was Kyoko? What the hell is going on here? I should be heading to the dining hall. Then I could talk to everyone about every everyone else about it. Okay. Gotta look both ways before you cross the street. Oh uh, yes, the street. <laughs> hey Makoto. Ah, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky's blue. Thanks, Hina. Okay. Um, you really had me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Worried? I mean, yeah, right after mid night time hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. <laughs> I mean, not that... Not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys were even showed up. But why did you? But why did you come to get me? Did something happen? Mm. Um. Well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else. Then uh, they can tell you about it. Everyone else? So is everyone else waiting? Or something? That's right. Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night. I lost that rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everybody. Okay. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Sure. Yeah, have the sick guy carry the food. Very smart. Yeah. Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym. And the entire night? What was the fuck was going on? Man, Makoto is such a shit character. He misses all the fun stuff. To the gym! Yep. Wait. Yippee! <laughs> what the fuck?
one. I don't know. In the gym we go. Oh, there he is. This is the worst oh, hey, than being Kuro. late for your wedding. The birth of your son and your own funeral all at once. What? What? How do you miss your own funeral? <laughs> Jeez, I show up now? It's like it's no big deal? You made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your room, in your bed. Baby, baby, baby. That's what she said. <laughs> Just like Ida said, everyone was there besides Kyoko. And then I noticed they formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was, what? The? Before I could catch myself, I cried out. What? Cried out. Ha! Ah. Sp spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? Oh my God! They're just they're just beating his they taking him apart. Mm -hmm. Look like we're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? Well, I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not even phased. <laughs> Something big must have happened. They're like not even phased. They're just like taking apart Monokuma. What the f actual fuck? Wait, uh, wait, just real quick to answer the question. Is that actually him or a clone of him? You mean the bear that's been a robot this whole time? And also we've confirmed there's multiple when he blew up at the beginning of the game? Yeah, that's a, it's, it's a, it's a robot. Multiple robots of bear. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but what is this? What are you guys doing? Yeah, what the actual fuck? Uh, look at this bitch. He's dead. It looks like it's been professionally dismantled. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> Tearing apart something like that isn't like that. Isn't it dangerous? Well, spit it out. What are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? What? Idiot, if you haven't been sleeping yet, you've already know what's going on. Hey, come on. Well, I guess I've handled this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Biakia found this little fella laying around. Then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here. Just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't even react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began. But still, Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move, so I immediately initiated the disassembling process. <laughs> it was Master's stroke of genius, a chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. Hmm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It sleeks beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, I'm, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he might have functioned, but he, we didn't find any case as we were taking him apart. So he didn't break down. So in other words... Then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master, they ran away in terror. Could it be? Or maybe they got sick of so or something. Monok but Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not the mastermind? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer in place as necessary. Mm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. hey, guys. I don't think that's now a good time for a light conversation. You know? I just found something. What is it? That's a that's fucking a bo bomb. <laughs> That's the bomb that resides inside all the Monokumas. Oh. Oh my. Huh? It's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one assault in every... Yep, there it is. A bomb! That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Roger that. 
It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, I'm sure it will go off. Motion sensor? For serious? Ah, I'm sorry to get all shaky. Just a second. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. <laughs> You're so not fine. You're all... Ah. Oh, I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. God, you're like the w world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean. Hey, come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. <sighs> Whatever, just hurry up and put the bob down. Hanging on to it, it's not going to do anyone any good. Uh, um, oh yeah, good call. Hey, you can blast your way well? out of here. Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Wow. P&G. Bob. Hero put the bomb down, but that wasn't it wasn't my main concern at the point. At that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could have that what could have what could I can't read anymore. <laughs> but what could that have been when I thought about it? Ho ho! Luchador! The Luchador! He is the mastermind! Being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto. What? I'd also like to mention do you see the symbol on the Luchador's mask? No. It's literally just Monokuma's red eye. Oh. Hey, uh, Monokuma. M M Makoto. <laughs> huh. Don't huh us. Did you hear a thing we said? Huh. Mm -hmm. So that's a no. What are you, some kind of brain dead farm animal? Sorry? Mm. We were saying since we're done dismantling Monokuma, we, what should we do now? <laughs> and, we'll, and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the Headmaster's room. That sounds dangerous. Naturally. It's already been broken into. Yeah. Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, would you agree? But, but if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there... If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Or go live in the chicken coop with all other chickens. You could be chicken number six. <laughs> Yo, roasted. Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to death between us and the Mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other. Or anyone else. But we have a chance now. Come on. So what are we gonna do? Are you gonna run away or are you gonna fight? You're right, I'll go with you. It's all clear. Okay then, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourself. I'll follow you anywhere, master, to all ends of the earth. Sakura, if you could hear me and lend me your strike. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man. I can do this. I've got the will to of the entire universe on my side. We found determination in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. All right. First, I gotta take a shit. Oh. So, did anyone bring the ray gun? You have the ray gun. I have the ray gun. I have two ray guns. Or importantly, did anyone bring the bomb? <laughs> it's locked, as expected. So, what are you going to do? What? Is it obvious? We're going to tear this door off. It's hinges. Wait, but the rules say... We've seen them th that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... But like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up... While we were in there, so in other words, then we'll just have to finish our business before that could happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but what? We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed. Th we agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. So beautiful. I mean, for serious? What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually. Okay, but how are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. That will need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about this? That one thing. The pickaxe. Oh, so then. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could 
very well be exactly what we need. Hmm. Now then, so cool. what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock. So it's probably 9 on the dot now. It's all clear. Okay, so go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. That's one minute. That's straight up unreasonable. I, I, I by myself? Naturally. Surely. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well, <laughs> if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take it too long and I'll erase your from my consciousness. Yeah. Acceptable. But loud. With that, Toko, Toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Hey. For serious, though, are we going to knock this door down? Hmm. No problem. No problem is solving is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. Can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you, spend you literally just learned that, and then you got sick. Danger, so... You'll never move forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um... Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flubbust. No. I'm totally flabug. Flabstagif. <laughs> Fap sauce. Come. Gross, where'd that come from? Wait, Dennis, I Jill, where'd you come from? Hello, hello. It's the wonderfulest murder, murder if, uh, hell here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. I can't be all bothered. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? It was supposed to be a pick, an axe. No, you sleeping, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Seeping imbecile. Oh, master, you wound me with your executive what level you? barbs, huh? You wound me. Wound. Whatever, man. I'm tired. <laughs> Bourgeois. Here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, though. Did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega-3 fatty asses. That's what you need. Great for the old memory factor. But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery? Hmm. Yep. Have now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X. So, um... Now what are you talking about? Uh, Did you ever forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. You gotta be kidding. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What did you find? Coropus? Oh, did you hear me? I said a corpse. A corpse? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's right. I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden? What did you say? Well then, before we enter the headmaster room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. <coughs> oh, my throat is dry as fuck. Mm. And water is not helping. Ah. Okay. Oh, we're almost Bye. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but. Yo, Lucha Tor is fucking dead. <laughs> what an entrance and what an exit. I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in the stomach up to the hilt. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? That is a good question. Who the fuck is it? Deadly life. Why did we get French music? 